All right, so today we have ourselves the Speedwino again. So I initially got this with only this green board with a circuit around it and the Arduino, the Arduino Mega attached to it. So today what, we got, what I did yesterday was I put on this uh, ULN 2003 and I wired up the power supply to it from the 12 volt input. And that's the pros, that's how far I've got. So this has been running my car for probably four or five weeks now. So now I'm going on to the next step and that's mounting it inside the car. So the, the thing is with this is I have no case. I don't even know if you can get a specific case for this, but you will definitely won't get it in my country. So I had to design it myself. So this is a 3D printed case that I uh, designed myself. Just measured up this board. This board is 100 moles by 100 moles, and then the bottom, the switch, the Arduino, is offset by a certain distance. I measured all that, and I measured the where the plug is in relationship to the edges of the board, and where I want to put my plugs, two nine nine pin plugs. These are Molex plugs if you want to use them. But they're kind of too few, but they're just enough for me to use this in my specific setup, my specific coils and injectors. So, so let's just quickly go over the uh, design of this. So it's quite simple. It's a slide-in uh, design, and I had it. I let. I had it printed in Vanduk by. Uh, so as you can see it slides in at the end it has little stoppers to prevent it from sliding straight through and i had these these bolt on covers made and as you can see they have these little tabs on as well so they slide in right there let me just show you so initially this was a little bit difficult to assemble because the 3d printing process is maybe you can see that you see how i sanded it it, it leaves like a little bit of strands especially on these areas where there's a really small printed area so, so the printer prints from the bottom up 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 and these are probably like the last points and so it would pass over these go to the other side do passes come back back and forth back and forth so it leaves a little bit of a strand a little bit of inconsistency so i just had to sand that to make it fit in here so this is actually designed in such a way that it secures the board uh, so that it can't move back and forth, can't slide at all. So I just slide it in there. Add these holes printed in as well. Then I just bought these plugs. So symbols like that, four screw holes. And yeah, that's it. And on the other side, I add this little hole that I had to compensate for. So I had it printed in such a way that it fits over perfectly. As you can see it doesn't fall off that's how tightly it goes over this and all the screw line, screw holes line up i probably couldn't do any better job at doing this with any other material besides for 3d printing it so yeah i'm very satisfied with this i initially had two of these mounts but then i just added more it was a little bit wasteful because two would have been sufficient as as this is actually printed in this orientation so these little legs underneath would need support as it was printing so this was a little bit wasteful but yeah so let's talk about the plugs and the plug arrangement so as you can see there's a lot of open space on this end so the plugs have a lot of space behind them so that's why I opted for using it on this side rather than the other side I didn't want to put them on this side because I wanted this, this plug to be on the opposite side so that um, when you're tuning it and you're plugging it in, it doesn't interfere with the wiring harness of the car. So yep, that's that's my thought on this. So right now I just have to pin in these plugs. Now I actually show you the pins. Yeah, so these are the pins. There are 18 of them. Actually 20, but I will need 18. So the, the, these male pins the mail pins which go into the socket 
and then the female ones go into the opposite socket. So then it would just plug in quite easily. I just have to label these so that I don't get them confused. For the connection between the board and the plug, I have actually opted to use a 40 pin ribbon connection, which is this. So as you can see, all 40 pins right there has the little key on it. You can use normal wires on the fewer pin uh, connections, but because these are next to each other, they are so tightly packed, you can't actually use a normal wire to connect them on the back, so you have to use the ribbon. So in this case, I'm just going to cut up this ribbon and pin them into into these connections and have these connections going into the plug. So just a quick little demonstration. So as you can see there, it goes in and it will loop back and plug into the connectors. So yeah, that's how far I am with it and I'm going to do some pinning, some crimping and let's see how far we get with the car. So I know wiring is not that exciting so I just did this off camera. I pinned this little pin so that the other plug, the opposite plug, can't plug into it. So the plug that goes in here won't be able to plug onto this one. So that would avoid this ever being shorted or using the wrong plug in the wrong location. I just uh, mark these because uh, the number, the pin number actually oscillates between every second, every second ribbon wire. So on this side, I just mark them. So the first, first wire would be, the purple wire would be pin one. The third wire would be pin two. The fifth wire would be pin 3, the seventh wire would be pin 4, so that's how they oscillate according to this. Okay, so I just marked them pin 1 to 20, and I used the pen to mark each one of them so I could actually keep count of them. So I just uh, stripped them, crimped on the little, crimped on the pins, and pushed them in there. I just aligned them up according to the sides and pushed them in. I used a a needle and a multimeter on the continuity tester so i just tested the continuity in that way and in that way i was able to draw up a table for the pins according to the pin number on the board so yeah that's how far i am basically done with all of the inbox ecu stuff so i can actually close this and get to wiring up the car pinning the engine harness and so on this was actually really difficult to get on this this uh, plug so i just used a needle to open up the holes in the plug to get them to go in easier and if you found this content actually useful i'd really appreciate it if you like the video peace